Yeah, I just. It's the fuck with geniuses do. They just, do shit. That's what they do. He just did it. They, just met, just messed around with beats until they sounded. So he gonna nice say to the humble shit. I mean, he's a genius. He's, he's a genius. <laughs> Beastie Boys, they made a record called Cookie Puss, which was, it wasn't a straight up rap record, but it was clearly influenced by hip hop. And I heard that, I loved it. They needed a DJ and I volunteered so that they could do Cookie Puss live. I would usually do the beats. They would either write the rhymes or we would write the rhymes together. I feel like the License to Ill album, we were probably recording over the course of two years to get all the songs for that. We'd hang out for a month and write a bunch of lyrics, and then we'd go in to record this one song, and then go about our lives again. The whole thing I hit it was our street record, and they were on the road performing with it, and didn't have an album yet, but then the album hit, and they decided they liked, you know, Fight For Your Right. I thought it was off brand, I didn't know any better. Life Here at the Party came from Yauk had a punk rock band and that was the name of a song that he had for his punk rock band. And I said, let's take that name. Well, let's got, do a Beastie Boys song for that. Right. Even though they were really a big part of making that particular record, right? They, they had a lot of fun making that record too. They kind of never expected to do anything and they kind of worried that it took them somewhere they didn't want to be. Don't you think they heard that? After the fact. And the, the reason was people weren't getting the joke. People were thinking, oh, they hate women, oh, they smoke crack, oh, Homophobic, all these, everything yeah, all these things which, they, which none of us ever were. They were always just ridiculous, funny lines. They, they wanted to take what was already decadent and fun about alternative lifestyle, the young culture, and they wanted to just put it on its head. It's youth culture. It's rebellious for the sake of it. It's a part of the process. Like, young people want to say shit to piss parents off. And the lyrics are less important than the idea that I'm saying, fuck you to all you people. But then internalizing those lyrics and not having to, and standing behind them, like Rick said, especially that they weren't their reality, made them shift and they made different records later.